These are protractors and they're very simple to use. They have two main uses, which is firstly to deal with bearings, either onto or from a map, and secondly to take a grid reference from a map or put the grid reference onto a map. In this video I want to show you how to deal with bearings. Some people call these azimuths. I have another video which looks at how to deal with grid references using a uh, protractor. This video is it's very short as that's all the time you need to go through this. As, as I said, protractors are really simple to use. Now, this particular one is a, <laughs> it's a cheap Amazon copy of an American military protractor. And this is a, it's commonly called an RA protractor, which is short for Royal Artillery, which is part of the British Army. Most people, when they go out into the hills using a map and a compass, use degrees rather than NATO mills. So to make the degree markings stand out, it's very common on the US protractor to cut off the mills just leaving the degrees. Then if you put a line of lightly colored tape around the edge, it'll make the protractor much easier to use with a map. So now we have two protractors, one with degrees and the other using NATO mills. So let's have a look at bearings using a protractor. So I'll drop this onto your screen. Now, let's say that I'm on the summit of Care Caradoc, in, which is in the Shropshire Hills in the East Midlands of England. And let's say that I want to know the direction to Three Fingers Rock. We'll use the US protractor first, as I know where I am and I know where I want to go. So the first thing to do is to draw a line between the two points. And it's a good idea to extend this line past the destination so that it's at least long enough to go past the edge of the protractor. Put the start point under the small hole in the center of the protractor and then rotate the whole thing until the north-south and east-west lines are parallel to the vertical and horizontal lines on the map. You read the degrees along the edge where the pencil line you've drawn cuts through a mark on the edge of the protractor and as you can see we've got 225 degrees. If you wanted to go in reverse, then the back bearing is read by using the numbers printed in red in this case. So if you wanted to go from Three Fingers Rock back to the summit of Care Caradoc, you would follow a bearing of 45 degrees. And that's it. Now, I've seen videos of over an hour long explaining that very simple process. And there's really, <laughs> there, there was a lot of waffle on those videos and no, it wasn't one of mine. Um, but, you know, it doesn't take long to be able to understand how to use these protractors. So let's do another example. I'll, I'll drop this back onto your screen. We want to walk on a bearing from Three Fingers Rock to Hope Baldler Hill. Now, it's too far to use the Roma to measure, so I'll mark the distance on a piece of paper and I'll use the map scale to see, see how far you know, I've got to walk. And as you can see, it's 1,600 meters. So we draw a line again between the two points. And don't forget, make sure that it's long enough to go past the edge of the protractor. Place the center hole on the start point and rotate the protractor until the lines printed onto the protractor are parallel to the vertical and horizontal lines on the map. And as you can see, the line cuts through the 130 degree mark. So that's our grid bearing. Next, we'll use the RA protractor. And what we'll do is we'll just do the same trip, but we'll do it in reverse. So, you know, we just need to do the opposite of everything we've just done. As this protractor is a semicircle, you place it on the map like this, if your bearing is anywhere eastwards. And you read the bearings on the outside numbers. If your bearing is anywhere westwards, you place the protractor on the map like this and you read the inner numbers, and that's, that's your NATO mills. Now, as there's no hole at the center of the RA protractor, you need to place the first location directly under the corner you know, of the cross lines. Again, make sure that the lines on the protractor are exactly matched to the horizontal and vertical lines on the map. In this case, instead of drawing a line on a map, you pull the string so it's quite tight, and position the string directly over the next location. 
The direction, again in NATO mills, is red where the string cuts through the mark on the edge of the protractor. And as you can see, it's, let's have a look, it's 5,500 and I'd say 10 mils. It's never going to be precisely exact as the string is about 10, 10 NATO mils thick. Now, if you have a calculator on your phone, you can easily convert NATO mils to degrees just by multiplying it by, I'm trying to remember it now, 0 0.05625, that's it, 5625. And we can do exactly the same from Three Fingers Rock to the summit on uh, Care Caradoc. And let's have a look. So we pull the string, and as we can see, we have 800 NATO mils. So, as I said, protractors are really simple to use. They're designed to be simple to use because they are, how can I put it, they're designed to be used in possible situations that are stressful. Is that a good way to put it? <laughs> they're military. So I'll leave, you, I'll leave that as is. Um, so these, they really are simple. And with a little bit of practice, you should be able to get very accurate bearings. Now, you can use the same method to go to an unknown point. Let's say that you, I'll drop this onto your screen. Let's have a look. Let me find somewhere. Here we go. Let's say that you're here where the path crosses the stream and someone tells you to walk for two clicks on a bearing of 278 degrees. Now, let me get my calculator out. So 278 degrees is 4942 NATO mils. By the way, a click in navigation terms is one kilometer. So two clicks is 2,000 meters. I'll, I'll drop this back onto your screen so you can see what I'm doing. With the US protractor, you'll again put the hole over the path stream junction and mark the, uh, the map at the edge of the protractor at the 278 mark. Draw a pencil line between the points and make sure that it's extended by at least two clicks. You, you can use the map scale to check how long this line should be. Then we need to find the location that we're looking for along that bearing. If you have a ruler, you can use it, or if you don't, then just mark a piece of paper using the um, map scales, so 2,000 meters. And in this case, as you can see, on a bearing of 278, Two clicks takes us to the north side of the road junction. You do basically the same with the RA protractor. Place a center point on the first location, which is the stream track junction, and rotate, rotate the uh, protractor until the zero NATO mills is exactly pointing north. Okay, pull the string over the bearing and mark the map somewhere along the route. Measure the distance again, either using a ruler or the one printed onto the base of the protractor. Oh, just a point in mind for this. Um, if you're going to use the, the ruler on this particular protractor, remember that this is designed for 1 to 50,000 maps. And today, as I'm using a 1 to 25,000 map, you need to halve the distance given by the ruler. And that's it. I mean... <laughs> I can't see how you can make a one hour video. <laughs> well, I can. I can't see how you can. <laughs> Let's not go there. So that's how to use a protractor to deal with bearings on a map. I told you it was simple. Thanks for watching.